Hi everybody, it's Swordtash Math Tutor. Uh, please subscribe, please comment, please like. Don't dislike me though on this lovely thing called YouTube. What are we going to do today? Well, we're going to talk about something hopefully that we can just clear up, make sure we're happy with it, and that is rounding up or rounding off, I think our American cousins call it. We're going to talk about decimal places and we're going to talk about significant figures. So the first thing we're going to talk about is rounding and how we do that. So here's the basic concept of, of rounding and hopefully this will just lead us into why rounding is relatively easy. So if I don't do that, I don't want to do that. If I just get my arrow, I'm going to ask the question here. If I go to 10.1, what's the whole number that it's nearest to? Well, it's 10, isn't it? And if it's 10.2, what's the whole number it's nearest to? Well, it's 10 again. And 10.3, well, it's not it's not up here with, with 11. It's too far away. 10.3 is still closest to 10. And in fact, 10.4, although it's nearly there, it's nearly halfway, halfway being 10.5, it's nearly there, it's still closest to 10. So in fact, if we have 10.4, 10.3, 10.2, 10 10.1, and we were asked to find the nearest whole number, something without a decimal, then it would still be 10. The other side of this is if we get at 10.9, what's that closest to? Well, it's closest to 11. And if we have 10.8, what's this closest to? Well, that's still closer to 11. 10.7, same argument, 10.6. Same argument. We've got this funny one in the middle though, 10.5. <clears throat> and so there has to be some sort of rule. And the rule is that if you have 10.5, you always round up to, or let me be more precise, if you have, in this particular instance, 10.5, we would look to round up to 11. But the things that I want you to take notice of are these numbers here. Forget about the 10 point thing, it's just the number. With 1, 2, 3 and 4, then all we do is nothing effectively because we started off with 10. We, with 1, 2, 3 and 4 we don't do anything to the 10, it remains 10, so we don't do anything if it's 4, 3, 2 or 1. If it's five or more, then we do do something. We go from, let's just take some of these off. If it's five or more, then when we did the bit where, let me just see if I can move my arrow about. We said 10.8 would be 11, 10.7 would be 11. <clears throat> then we actually went from what was a 10, up to 11. We went up one, we added one more. Okay. So here we go, let's just have a look at this example, 4.326. And what I want to do is I want to, I want to round it up a bit. And we're going to talk about what that means in a minute, but I just want to, I want to get rid of anything this side. I want my number just to be three digits like this. So what do I need to do? Well, I'm going to draw a line there and I want to cut off everything that's here. So if we think about the, the last slide, when we had a 6, we went to, and you might need to stop the video here and go back and have a look at the next or the previous page and just see what we're talking about. But with a 6, we went up to the next highest number and that's what you do here. In this particular instance, what we do is 6, we go up to the next number and raise it up 1, so it becomes 3. So in this particular instance, it becomes 4.33. Let's go for uh, another one. Let's just have a look at, we'll just pick some numbers now. 1, 4, 5, 6, 3, 7. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to round these numbers up. I'm going to work this way. We always work from right to left, and I'm going to get a smaller number. <clears throat> so, draw the line. This is just to, for practicing this concept of what do I do. 7, it's more than 5, so that makes that 4. So I end up with 1, 4, 5, 6, 4. Draw something there. Draw the line. What do I do with the 6? 4. Well, 4 is less than 5, so I don't do anything. So it becomes 1, 4, 5, 6. Draw. Whoops, what's going on there? Drawing things all over the place. Draw a line here. 6 is more than 5. That means that we put that up a number to 6, raise it from 5 to 6. Draw a number here. That's 6, that raises that, and that becomes 15. That's just the process of it. Now there is a little bit of, um, as a way of remembering this, I suppose, something to add to it. Um, I've looked at a few videos to see how people have explained this, and one of the uh, ways that I've seen it done is uh, this, and I have to say I found it reasonably amusing, um, but it was a guy who was uh, um, singing a song that he'd written and playing the guitar. There was one problem, everybody. He couldn't play the guitar, he couldn't sing, and the song was sort of rubbish, but it had an effect it stuck in my mind, so I'm, I'm stealing this, whoever you are out there. In YouTube land, I'm nicking this off you, and here we go. And his thing was um, about putting in a back door, and if it's five or more, did you see it? Putting in a back door, if it's five or more, then you add, and here was the thing, one more. And there was a song, and there was lots of, ding, 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 ding. If it's five or more, at the back door, then you add, well, yeah, yeah. You're sort of getting it. I can't actually sing, but there you go. So that would become 1.23. Okay. Okay, let's quickly talk about decimal places. Decimal places, uh, I don't know, I'm going to put a number in here. 14.7, let's just make that point a bit. 14.7, 2, 3, 4, 9, 7. Okay. And you are asked to write this number to, let's say, um, 3 decimal places which will be annotated as DP okay a decimal place if you're asked to do this goes from the decimal the, the clue is almost it's the name on the tin it's the decimal place thing so here's the decimal place I want it to three decimal places so I go back three one two and three and it's at this point here uh, and this is when the rounding up bit comes in is when I start to do my rounding up. So I draw my line, and what I'm going to effectively do is I'm going to get rid of everything on this side here. But what I do is the number that I use to round up is this number here. Now, as you'll recall, let's do the crazy song, everybody. If it's five or more, knock and have a back door. Then I add one more, I think it's something like that, I honestly can't remember. But it's not, it's less than five, it's four. And if there's four, you do no more. So, bin all that. And 14.723497 rounded to three decimal places is 14.723. Okay, let's try uh, another one. Um, one decimal Five, two, seven, eight, five, and I want to round to four decimal places. Okay, well, it's decimal places, so it's from the decimal, which is here. I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. Put my back door in, ching a ding a ding. Uh, yeah, I've got the bug, I've got the ching a ding a ding. That's me playing guitar, everybody. Okay. And then we do the whole thing of, um, if it's five or more, knocking on my back door, then I raise it one more. Yes, yeah, all of those things. So that becomes nine. So to four decimal places, it's 1.527 and nine. Okay. 
Next thing I want to talk about is significant figures. So let's look at um, 206 decimal 359732. And I would like to write that to, um, what should we have? We'll have it to 5 significant figures, and that's how it's written. Right, significant figures is different from decimal places. And what we do is we start from the front, and we work, I want five, so it's one, two, three, four, five. And it's at this point here that I put in my line. I'm going to discard everything that side, and this is the number I'm going to be dealing with to do the rounding up bit. So five or more, ha uh -huh. knocking out the back door, sure is, so I need to add one more. So the answer becomes... Two zero six decimal three six, and I'll just do one more example of that. So, uh, what should we have? Let's have eleven decimal zero six five two eight, and I want that rounded to five significant figures. So, I go start here one, two, three, four, five. Insert the line. The two here is not more than five, so five nothing happens to it. So eleven decimal zero six five two eight to five significant figures is eleven decimal zero six five. So just just to illustrate that point, what I want to do here is I want to talk about um, we're going to take this number, this number, everybody. And we're going to do it to three significant figures and three decimal places. Okay, three significant figures. I start here and I go one, two, and three. I draw my line. Three becomes the number that's going to be rounded up or down as required. But it's the old five or more knocking on the back door, ding a ding a ding thing, but it's not. So three doesn't affect two. So one, five, two, decimal three, seven, two, eight. To three significant figures is one five two. Let me just get rid of that. Is one five two to three significant figures. Now what I want to do is um, have a look at three decimal places. But it's the names on the tin, I go from the decimal one, two, and three. Draw my line here. There's an eight. Five or more, knocking on the back door, ding-a-ding-a-ding, all that sort of thing. So that means that I raise five or more on the back door, add one more, add one more to that. So to three decimal places, it becomes one, five, two, decimal three, seven, three. And that's the three decimal places. Can you see the difference here? Same number, treated different. different can get my teeth in differently with significant figures and decimal places. Okay, so that's it, everybody. We've talked about rounding, we've talked about significant figures, we've talked about decimal places. Uh, this has been Saltash Math Tutor. Please add comments, ask questions, anything you want. I don't care. I'll try and help you out. Thank you very much.